Tripping Bellies by Dave Matthews is in standard tuning, and the intro, uh, as is played on Live at Luther College, starts off with a pretty big stretchy chord. Uh, you need to put your ring finger on the 6th string 5th fret, your pinky finger on the 3rd string 6th uh, fret. Your pointer finger is going to go stretch down to the 4th string 2nd fret, and then your 2nd finger is going to go on the 3rd string 4th fret. So yes, you've got two fingers on the same string, fretting one on the 6th fret and one on the 4th fret. The reason that you've got them both down is because you will be lifting your pinky and replacing your pinky from its spot on the 3rd string 6th uh, fret during this chord. And you strum across it. You strum across it, and while you're strumming across it, you will lift up your pinky finger. So. Down stroke, or like for the first half of the measure, you're kind of emphasizing downbeats, and your pinky will be down with the downbeats. And then on the back half of the chord, um, you're picking up your finger, you're lifting up your finger, and you'll be emphasizing the upbeats, like. Those are the first two movements. It just does it like one round. That's one round. And then after that, you're going to use your ring finger and your pinky finger to pull up into a B minor. You're going to take these two fingers and slide them up to where you see my double dots right there. The sixth string, um, seventh fret, and the third string, seventh fret. So that's um, a really big stretch. And then out of that, you slide, you pull those fingers up into this B minor position. And you get a sound like. get that intro down or you can skip it all together because it doesn't uh, always exist at the beginning of the song but once you get that underneath your fingers the next part the more recognizable part where all the horns come in um, will be you're going to take your first finger and put it on the sixth string second fret you're going to put your second finger on the third string second fret and you've got this kind of it's kind of a D major -y chord in a lot of ways you just don't have that D note actually in it but it's basically a D major. You're going to move from that, and you're going to go with your ring finger to the 6th string 3rd fret, and your pinky finger to the 3rd string 4th fret. So, and then it repeats that again. The second time around, you're going to slide this formation all the way back up to that B minor that you made in the intro. So you go from this G shape with your ring finger on the 6th, 3 and pinky on the 3, 4th fret. You want to slide it all the way up so that your ring finger is on the 6th string 7th fret and your pinky finger is on the 3rd string 7th fret as well. So you've got... After you get to that, you're going to use your first and your second finger to make an A chord. You're going to put your first finger down on the sixth string fifth fret, and your second finger will go down on the third string sixth fret. So sixth string fifth fret, third string sixth fret. So you've got... And then once you get there, you repeat that into the G. And then the 
last time around, it uh, follows all the way up to the this kind of F sharp D-ish feel to G to the A to the B minor. With these chords, these chords are called, uh, you've really just got a root and a third. Um, the root would be this, the third would be your further away finger on the third string. The root is on the sixth string, the third is happening on the third string. Alright, so that's the intro. Once it runs through that, you go into the verse. The verse is going to be another pretty big stretch, and you hit a chord just like the one from the intro. So not the... That's not our rhythm anymore, but it's pretty much the same chord. Uh, putting your second finger down isn't necessarily as important, but I kind of still throw it down there just out of habit. In your verse, you're going to pluck your ring finger on the 6th string 5th fret and then pluck the 3rd string on uh, with your pinky down on the 3rd string 6th fret and your pointer finger you're going to kind of pluck across that as you're getting to the 3rd string so it's like after you get that stroke down you're going to take your 1st finger and move it from where you've got it on the 4th string 2nd fret and put it on the 3rd string 2nd fret so that you can slide up to the 3rd string 4th fret after this first movement. So you've got, then move your 1st finger to So that is the first part of the verse, and this is, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on here. After this, there's kind of a muted silent note, like... Then after that, it pulls up into a D chord with a uh, first finger on the fifth string fifth fret, ring finger on the 4th string 7th fret, pinky finger on the 3rd string 7th fret, and then it hits and just stops again. So you've got your A, pull up, dead note, then pull up into a D, Sometimes instead of the dead note after this slide up, I feel myself hitting the open G string, which also sounds fine. Once you get that down, then move with your ring finger to the 6th string 8th fret, a C note. So pluck that and then put your 2nd finger down on the 4th string 7th fret and then with your pointer finger you're going to slide on the 3rd string from the 4th fret to the 5th fret. So this is another big stretch and you get So putting it back together again Then after you get that slide, you slide your fingers up into a B chord. I'm playing this B with my first finger on the 6th string, 6th um, string 7th fret, ring finger on the 5th string 9th fret, pinky finger on the 4th string 9th fret. So. Repeats this again. Second time around, it jumps back into this where you've got.
got your first finger on the sixth string second, and then your second finger on the third string second, moving into your ring finger on the sixth string third fret, and your pinky finger on the third string fourth fret. some weird timing in there that honestly I don't know how to explain other than to say learn these frettings that I'm telling you to do and put on a CD press play and just force yourself to play through it over and over again until you're noticing that what you're doing is lining up with what Dave Matthews is doing because what I'm showing you here I'm not leading you astray in terms of where your fingers need to be and the pulls uh, and the notes that you need to be on. This is what he's doing, but it's just really hard sometimes to get the timing perfectly down with what Dave Matthews is doing in this song. Um, and then you've got the chorus, where in the chorus, after this last of the verses, you slide these two fingers back up into this B minor position where your ring is on the 6th 7, your pinky is on the 3rd 7, and you're going to strum that down into the A, first finger on the 6th string 5th fret, second finger on the 3rd string 6th fret. So. That's a walk up going from your F sharp minor note, D ish style note, to the G, to the A, to the B minor again. So. And then it goes back into the verse for like lead breaks. And then back into the chorus. And then back into like the intro, probably. So, anyway, hopefully, this gives you somewhat of an idea on how to approach Tripping Billy's um, in the way that Dave Matthews plays it.